can't keep thinking in the short term. We need to start thinking in the long term about what, how we can invest in our generation and generations that's going to come after us. Well, what happens when we get out of college and we can't find that job and we can't start paying back that investment? My name is Lauren Silberman. I go to McAllister College. I'm going to be a senior and a co-chair of the McAllister Emperor chapter. Uh, my name is Ryan Kennedy. I'm a first-year law student at the University of Minnesota and an active member of the Minnesota Public Interest Research Group for the last four years. There's just part of me that feels like in the policies that are being made, whether it be economic or political, there's no consideration of what we as young people want or how this is going to end up affecting us. I mean, one of the things to me that seems like the most obvious and blatant attacks on our generation is, is higher education. We're worried about, you know, Social Security and Medicare for, you know, for our future. Higher education is affecting us now. And I mean, like the University of Minnesota, tuition's gone up, you know, it's over double. It's gone up 150% in the last 10 years. That's, you know, over seven times inflation. But at the same time, if you don't have that college education, it's so much harder to get anywhere yeah. in this country. Yeah, and no, you make a great point. You know, it is, you know, without a college degree, you can't really do much. And, and now it's almost becoming to the point in this economy that even with a college degree, it's, it's pretty hard to find a job that's going to pay you, you know, a, a good living wage and give you, give you solid benefits. It's, kind of, it's a struggle that I'm going through right now, going into my senior year, thinking, do I personally want to invest myself in something that I really care about, or do I want to invest myself in something that I kind of care about but can also make money doing? I spent seven solid months looking for a job with a college degree and three quarters of a master's degree. Couldn't find it. Couldn't, I mean, couldn't find, you know, I got a couple interviews and that was about as best as I got. And so for me, it's got to go back to school because there's nothing else at this point. Talking to my friends, it's not a matter of applying to five or ten jobs. It's if you don't apply to 70 or 80 jobs, you will not get one or two interviews. Right. And I'm lucky that I still have one more year in college, um, kind of working through it. But And I mean, I, I know that that's kind of just part of the process. Well, and we always get told it's, you know, it's an investment in ourselves. And of course, you know, we're investing in our future and future wages. and and you know, and that's great. But but what happens when we get out of college and we can't find that job and we can't start paying back that investment? I mean, you know, where our, our student loans are turning into mortgage-backed securities. It's funny. A lot of that doesn't even take into account the fact that uh, or people of our generation are switching jobs six or seven times. I think is the average. But we can't keep thinking in the short term. We need to start thinking in the long term about what, Absolutely. how we can invest in our generation and generations that's going to come after us. The short-term solutions are what, in large part, are alienating young people. It's, it's the idea that these politicians aren't even, aren't even thinking about, they're not even considering, it's not even entering into the debate. People can't make the tough decisions that are going to not only keep America great for the, you know, the end of their generation, but, you know, much less our generation or the generation after us or the generation after that. 